Hi guys, I welcome back to today's tutorial. How are you all doing? So you can see what you have on our screen. Yes, in our today's class, we learn how to make this beautiful gown. Yes, so you can see it's a beautiful gown and it's beginner's friendly. So it has a size slate. So for the color, I will decide to use a, a bishop color. Okay, what I have here is shared color. So for the rope casing, we decide to make it invisible. Okay, so for the button as well, because that will make it invisible by using pressing button or zipper. So, guys, it's really simple. Okay, so I use two years of uh, fabric here the black uh, fabric, and half inch, the main fabric, 1.5 inches. So, let's quickly get started. So guys, so we have our uh, required materials on the table. We have our main fabric, um, pattern, uh, the black plain fabric, and color stay. Okay, so first we have to quickly draft it before transferring to our fabric. So we are doing this for the uh, sake of uh, uh, beginners. So first uh, we have to mark out two inches. We will fold it in this way. These two inches are going to serve as our same, uh, sorry, our uh, button allowance. So you fold it this way. So the paper is in two fold. So whatever I'll be drafting here uh, is for both front and back panel. Yes. So when we're through, we will transfer it to the fabric. So now this line is for a guide to know our shoulder line. So... First, we have to quickly place our shoulder measurement into two is eight inches. That is 16 by two is uh, eight, which is this. So the length of the slave, you place it eight inches. So you could decide to place your tape, <coughs> excuse me, from the center of your bar to a desired length of your slave. Shoulder slope an half inch or one inch. Do not go in more than that. So you connect it uh, this way. So the next thing to place now is the neck uh, weight and the neck depth. The neck weight is 3 inches. The neck depth is 2 inches because I won't be adding same allowance for my neck uh, line. So for a shoulder of 14, 15, she use neck weight of 2.5 inches. So you can see. So the back is 1 inch. So you could start to work with an half inch. But I'll be placing, sorry. And uh, I'll place it uh, one inch, okay? So I'll connect it this way. So now that I'm through with the neck area, so I have to quickly find my waist measurement because the bust measurement line, sorry, is not needed here. So place it this way. And the next one to find is the hip line. Though the paper is not enough, so I'll be, transfer I'll be adding it up while transferring to the fabric. So this is the hip line, the waist and uh, the hip uh, line so so to place the round slave so work with uh my seven inch where we're adding one inch okay so you don't need to be that fitted or you find your shoulder divide by two you place it this way okay it's not a fitted uh, gown so connect to meet your waist and to your hip line okay so first you place your hip uh, waist measurement into four nine inches the hip is 11.5 inches so i'll be adding half of my nipple to nipple okay it's a free wear because i don't have much fabric if you do uh you place um your nipple to nipple okay and the length also is optional because i don't have much fabric so i'm only working with the length of the fabric i have here okay so i will connect to meet my waist this way Extend it to meet the hip line this way. So, for the run slave, I'll be using one inch as the ML allowance, uh, which I'll be using the plain uh, black uh, fabric on that part, okay? So, my fabric won't be enough, so I will connect it this way. Okay, so I will cut it out now. But while cutting now, I will be cutting out the back neck depth. So I will use it to trace out the back panel before dipping the front neck depth. Then we'll trace out the front eh, panel as well. So we'll cut this way. So 
So notch your waistline. So we we'll created a case in there for a, a rope because I had to work with on that bust, but I think the waistline is better. So the our fabric now is into fold. We have both front and back. But as I said earlier, this uh, round slave, I will be using the, uh, the plain uh, fabric, the black uh, fabric on the slave, round slave. So first, I will pin it this way, you know, pin it this way to make sure everything relaxed properly. So I'm cutting out the back neck uh, depth. So the shoulder, I'll be adding same allowance on the shoulder line. So... You can see the length of the fabric I have, so I'll trim this part. So I will also be creating slates, okay? But first, I will cut out the waist area this way to the hip and straight to the hem line, notch as well. So the slit length I'll be working with, the full length is 47. So I'll trim out this part properly, then place the slit length is 18 sorry 13 inches okay open it this way so i'll introduce the black fabric now to cut out my round slave well, if you have a an old fabric and you want to uh, design yours this way what you should just do just to cut it straight uh, piece and just uh, after joining your shoulder you stitch it all around for my i don't have much fabric this is just an half yard of fabric and I'll be using it as my uh, button allowance as well. So I will pin it now because I'm done tracing it out. Trace out, uh, sorry, quickly uh, remove the back panel now to trace out the front uh, panel. So this is the front. Uh, panel place it properly place a pattern on it this way pin it okay so it will be straight so place it this way for a better view now i have to clear dipping the neck uh, neck depth of the front uh, panel okay so when i'm through with this i will quickly cut out the two inches i placed but before then i i will Cut uh, the center front open this way. Okay, then cut out two inches length for the uh, uh, plain uh, black uh, fabric for my uh, button allowance. So this bag was to make use of a um, zipper. Okay, so it's really simple, guys. So cut it out this way gently. Okay, so everything will be straight when you are through. So I will cut it now and show you guys. Okay. So guys can see I'm through cutting it out. I've also gone ahead to um, add up a uh, one inch for the round sleeve. Okay. So I've stitched this one as well. I used two inches. You can see. So it's now time to uh, stitch now. But before then I have to clear, place it properly. Okay, to measure the neck depth and the button allowance, everything uh, is in order before uh, I continue. So first, I will pin it this way, okay? Patiently pin it this way. So... I will quickly now introduce uh, my back panel, right side facing the right side. Make sure the neck uh, width meets uh, with each other this way. So I will pin it as well. But before doing all this, make sure you give it a very nice press. Pin it this way. Pin the shoulder as well. The same to the other 
uh, slave. So I will quickly now flip it this way, take it to my sewing machine, trim out this uh, part, it's not needed, join my shoulder with an half inch and show you guys. So guys, you can see I am through joining the shoulder line, you can see how beautiful uh, it is, trim out this part, it's not needed, you can see, so I will quickly take my overlocking machine, wave it all around. You can see the shoulder line I was telling you guys. So if you have enough fabric, just cut it straight. Join it when you are through joining your shoulder line. Okay. So, I have to replace it properly. So, it's time now to join the side seam. Okay. So, you flip it this way. So, you see the notch I made. This is my slit length. So I'll be stitching with one inch, <coughs> excuse me, stitch to the slit uh, length. If you're not making it of slit, you stitch to your uh, M line. Do the same on the other page as well and quickly show you guys. So guys, you can see we are true. So trim out this part. It's not needed. So it's time to introduce our casing. Okay, this is our casing is one inch uh, width. So placing direct to the waist uh, on the waistline. So but for the size seam, we're weaving it separately. So by the time we finish stitching, everything will last properly. So pin it this way. So we'll weave it uh, separately. So this is how it should look when you are true. Okay, so I'll quickly iron it for a better uh, view. So this is my casing. So I'll place it one inch, sorry, 1.5 inches away from my uh, uh, button allowance stitch around. But let me quickly iron it first. And weave it all around for easy sewing. Open it up this way. Pin it. Flip it to the right side. See how the last it is. To the 2 inches or 1.5 inches away from your um, button allowance. This way, that's your center front piece insert our rope so it's time to weave it all around which i'll be doing separately i'll pin it show you guys so guys you can see i'm through uh, weaving it all around time to uh, stitch that is to hem the the hem line okay this later as well and show you guys so guys you can see we are through so next thing to do is to make a mark on our waistline yes so that will give it a very nice press uh, for easy sewing so you can see i've done that so it's time to pin our casing so you decide to work with inner casing i've said that earlier so pin it 1.5 inches or Two inches away from your uh, button allowance. So pin it this way on the waistline. Pin it this way for easy sewing. But why making a yours? Eh? If your waistline is a uh, 16, you place 16 on the front, but back panel you place 15. So part one inch. Okay. 1.5 inches because of the bust so your front should be longer than your back eh? uh, waistline so you can see how uh, uh, straight it is so i want to now take it to my sewing machine stitch at the tip okay place it properly 
stitch at the tip and show you guys see how beautiful it is already so uh, you can see the sides uh, seam uh, I open it you can see the wrong side so if you are working with the uh, inner uh, case in this how the right side should look like so uh, this will be starting our rope so this is it so the next thing to do now is to now place it this way to pin it to cross check you can see you see the front so while making yours if your waist is 16 place exactly 16 on the front but the back subtract one inch okay now it's time to work on our collar so you place your tape watch uh, closely is as you measure your brand neck um, collar measurement okay place it this way do not subtract do not add okay for easy sewing so the link below the uh, detail video uh, at, um, how to make a, a shirt collar so you could say to, i have uh, 18 uh, sorry 19.2 inches so you could decide to work with bishop collar what we are about to draft here is a collar we stand together okay so neck um, run neck measurement into two the paper is not in two fold here I just assume that it's in two fold so you make a straight line this way the neck weight is this uh, it's three inches okay there is just a guide so for this part you just step up and uh, by an half inch so quickly introduce our cover we blend it to meet that neck uh, weight okay so this color uh, stand is two inches okay we decide to work with one inch so i will step up this way so i will connect it straight within this area and my cover this part as well so you can see what we have so the uh, button allowance is two inches i will place two inches uh, this way the color height is 2.5 inches so you decide to work with two inches all depending on your preference so i'll quickly connect it as well straight this way step out at one inch you will decide to step out and just an half inch or even more but note the more you step out the more pointy your color will be so i'll connect this well as well so it's two inches out clean excuse me get rid of this part so same allowance half inch so for my color stand i won't be adding same allowance probably make use of myself allowance from this color stand because two inches is too much for me so all these allowance i'm placing now is just for same allowance so connect it this way half inch here half inch here half inch here connect as well so blend it properly straight this way straight this way same allowance which is sa same allowance so i have to quickly now cut it out then we introduce our fabric to trace it out so cut it out this way do not add do not subtract by the time you finish fixing your color everything will relax eh, properly so this is it so here is my fabric so i've gone ahead to add my color stay so into food now <coughs> excuse me because it's direct to the fabric so you see note uh i've added same allowance all around so the color stand one inch 
or to start to work with 1.5 inches so we'll connect it so this part now that is left uh, will serve as my uh, same allowance connect it this way so I'll trace it out now so guys you can see I'm through tracing it out so I want to now find the center that is the center of my back neck by placing my collar this way trace uh, the same allowance that I added all around this way okay half inch so I'll trace it all around connect it and show you guys so guys you can see this I should look uh, when you are through so I'll take it to my sewing machine stitch it all around top stitch this part okay top stitch this part but this part shouldn't be more than 0 0.5 inch or 0 0.7 inch so I'll quickly now increase my color stand by two uh, bars okay so I will quickly stitch it around and show you guys so you guys can see I'm through um, stitching it all around so I will trim it out not change you can see I've top stitched this part okay so let me do that and show you guys as well so I'm done uh, top stitching I've also gonna I had to iron it you can see so I have to kind of flip it this way to find the midpoint that is the center of the back panel so I'll make a notch this way to this my fabric and my gown this way place it this way make a notch as well okay so I'll flip it this way sorry guys <laughs> my camera is not that clear on this part I don't really know what happened so Pin it this way, patiently do this part so that while stitching, um, it won't be that stressful. Yes, <laughs> we just stitch it straight. So, pin it, okay? You can see how um, the last it is. That's why I said earlier, do not add, do not subtract. So, pin to that your uh, 2 inches or 1.5 uh, inch button allowance i will take it to this part as well pin it as well patiently do that okay pin it this way so guys if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe i love you all as you can see so now so I have to clean out, flip it to the right side. So the side that is facing the camera right now is the side that uh, we added color stay. So you can see how neat it is. I will take my sewing machine now to stitch with 0.7 inch and show you guys. So my beautiful baby, you can see how simple it is and how beautiful it is. So trim out the wanted a thread. So you can see it's time to top stitch. So this part trim out um, any unwanted part, any thick fabric there, trim it out. So by the time you stop stitch, everything will last properly. So we'll take it to our sewing machine, top stitch at the tip. Okay, I'll show you guys. So guys, you can see what we have on our table. I'm really sorry about this part. I didn't really know what happened to my camera, you know. Sorry about that. I'll just click on the link below, okay? A detailed video of how to make a shirt collar. Okay, you can see how pointy my collar is, guys, because I step out with uh, one inch. You can see. So we decide to work with a bishop collar, as I said earlier. So, guys, that is all for the collar. Uh, uh, but see it's really simple guys very really simple so pin it okay so I'll pin it quickly pin it now iron it so guys if you are in a from worry data state and you are interested in our 
offline classes dm yes registration is ongoing okay so this is all for this tutorial so i will just go ahead and create uh, my rope using my bias fix my buttons all and buttons that is all <laughs> yes so if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and if you find this interesting guys like share comment please it will help this channel to grow so guys you can see what we have see how iron you can see how pointy my color is because of the one inch i step out with we are working with two inches <laughs> it's very pointy so the moderate one is half inch or one inch okay so i will take it to my iron table give it a very nice press create my rope insert it see the back panel so i'm true uh, fixing my rope i use uh, my bias so you can see so this is it we pin it create our button holes and fix our buttons that is all but first you have to pin it okay pin it this way patiently do this to cross check your hemline iron it so you decide to fix a pocket as well yes <laughs> chest pocket yes or um within the hip area so you can see how beautiful it is but if you want to make use of pocket advise chest uh the chest line yes that is all for now i remain your favorite fashion instructor chill living signature bye